Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ, and our topic for today class it's all about finding n or the number of terms in the geometric sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So to find n or the number of terms, we will be using the formula. And the formula of geometric sequence that would be a sub n equals the first term times the common ratio raised to the power of n minus 1. So let's try number 1. Find the number of terms in the geometric sequence 3, 6, 12, and the last term is 192. Alright, so let's write first the formula a sub n equals the first term times r raised to the power of n minus 1. So a sub n class will be the last term, and the last term is 192. Alright, and the first term is 3 times r is the common ratio. Now, to get the common ratio, simply divide the second term by the first term. So, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. You also check class, third term divided by the second term. Let's check if they have the same answer. So, 12 divided by 6, that is 2. So, therefore, the common ratio is 2. So, common ratio is 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. So, we will be finding this n, the number of terms. Alright, so next step is we need to divide both sides by 3 to eliminate this 3. And so that the remaining equation will be 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. So, divide both sides by 3 so we can cancel this out. Alright, so 192 divided by 3. So, 19 divided by 3, that is 6. 6 times 3, that is 18. Subtract 19 minus 18, that's 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 3, that's 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Then 0. Alright, so 192 divided by 3, that is 64. 64 equals 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. Now, in this scenario class, okay, in this scenario, we will be applying the 1 to 1 property of exponential functions. Let me explain that here. This, is, this will be very easy for your class. I'm sure with that. So, one-to-one -one property of exponential functions. It says on the functions, if b raised to the power of n is equals to b raised to the power of m, then n is equals to m. So, once again, b raised to the power of n, this b here is the base, and n here will be the exponent. So, according to one-to-one -one property of exponential, if exponential functions, if they have the same base, once again, b is the base. If they have the same base, you can simply equate the exponent. You can say that n is equals to m. Okay, once again, if they have the same base, you can simply equate the exponent. n is equals to m. So that's the rule there. If you have equal sign and they have the same base, you can just simply equate the exponent. n is equals to m. So that's the thing that we will do for 64. Now for 64, we need to make this one in, as exponential function in which they have the same base. Now if we write 2 raised to the power of 2 so that they, they will have the same base, 2 raised to the power of 2, is it 64? Nope, it's not 64. 2 raised to the power of 2, 2 times 2 is just 4. 2 raised to the power of 3. Now if we write 2 raised to the power of 3, 2 raised to the power of 3, that would be 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, 2 raised to the power of 3, that's the same with 2 times 2 times 2. And this, this is just 8. You multiply 2 by itself 3 times. This is just 8. Let's try 2 raised to the power of 4. 2 raised to the power of 4, that would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 16, right? How about 2 raised to the power of 5? 2 raised to the power of 5, that would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So, we're almost there, class, 64. Let's try 2 raised to the power of 6. 2 raised to the power of 6. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. You multiply 2 by itself 6 times. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64. Therefore, this 64, we can write this one as 2 raised to the power of 6, in which they will have the same base. Okay, that's the thing that you will do there, class. So therefore, this 64, we can write this one as 2 raised to the power of 6 equals 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. Now, if they have the same base, 
according to the rule of one-to-one -one property exponential function. If they have the same base, you can just simply equate the exponent. Okay, you can write this as 6 equals n minus 1. And to get n, simply transpose negative 1 from right to left. So transpose this one, this is negative 1, it will be positive 1. So this will be 6 plus 1 equals n. So add this one, 6 plus 1, that would be 7 equals n. So that's our n class. The number of terms will be 7. You can actually write this as n equals 7. That's the same class. n equals 7 or 7 equals n is just the same. Alright, so the number of terms for number 1 is 7. Easy, right, for number 1? So let's try number 2. Alright, so find the, the number of the terms in geometric sequence 4, 12, 36, and 9, 7, 2. So first thing is we need to substitute this numbers, the last term and the first term. So the last term is 972 equals the first term is 4 times R, the common ratio. Let's check the common ratio, 12 divided by 4, that is 3, 36 divided by 12, so 36 divided by 12, that is 3. So the common ratio is 3. So 3 raised to the power of n minus 1. Alright, so next step is divide both sides by 4. So the terminating equation will be 3 raised to the power of n minus 1. So divide both sides by 4. So cancel this out. So 972 divide by 4. So 9 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. Bring down 7. 17 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract. This is 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract. This is 0. So 243. Alright, so this will be 243 equals 3 raised to the power of n minus 1. Now since, okay, once again, we will, we will be applying the one-to-one -one property, we need to have the same base. So let's try 3 raised to the power of 2. Let's start with 3 raised to the power of 2. Since the base here is 3, so we will be using 3. So this 243, we will change this into exponential function, of course, with a base of 3. So 3 raised to the power of 2. It's just 9. 3 raised to the power of 3. That would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That is just 27, right? 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. 3 raised to the power of 4. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 27 times 3, that would be 81. Alright, let's check. 27 times 3. 3 times 7 is 21, 1 carry 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 81. So 27 times 3 is just 81. How about 3 raised to the power of 5? Okay, 3 raised to the power of 5. Let's try that. 3 raised to the power of 5 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81, then times 3, 81 times 3. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 8 is 24, 243. So therefore, this 243 is equivalent to 3 raised to the power of 5. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 is 81, 81 times 3, that's 243. Alright, so we can write this one as 3 raised to the power of 5 equals 3 raised to the power of n minus 1. Now, since they have the same base, we can equate the exponent. So, we can equate this one. So, we can say that 5 equals n minus 1. So, to get the value of n, simply transpose negative 1 from right to left. So, this is negative 1. It will be positive 1. This will be 5 plus 1 equals n. So, our n is equals to 6. So, 6 is equals to n. Or you can write this as n equals 6. That's it, plus. That's how you find n in the geometric sequence. 
Alright? So, even if you check this one, okay, this will be the number of terms will be 6. Okay, so this will be 6. So, let's try to check class number 4. Let's, let's just try to check number 2. So, 4, this is 4 times 3 is 12. Then, 12 times 3 is 36. 36 times 3, let's check. 36 times 3. So, we have 3 terms now. So, the number of terms, it should be 6. 36 times 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry 1. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 108. So, this will be 108 for the 4th term. So, the 5th term will be, so, 108 times 3, because the common ratio is 3. So, let's just check, let's, if we really have number of 6, six terms. So, 3 times 8 is 24, 4, carry 2. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3, 324. For the 5th term, then you multiply it by 3. Check if we get 9, 7, 2. 3 times 4 is 12, carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 3 times 3 is 9. 972 for the 6th term. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, we have 6 terms. N is equals to 6. So that's it, class. That's how you find the number of terms. So you try this one, class. Try this one and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you can find the number of terms in the geometric sequence. So we have 4, 8, 16 and the last term is 256 so feel free to answer this one class and you put your answer in the comment section down below once again this is teacher mj i hope you learned something new today and if you learned something new today do not forget to share like and subscribe you share it to your friends class and to your classmates so that we can help more people once again this is teacher mj bye bye